Hello everyone and welcome back to Zudesia! We are here for another special side quest. It's market day! Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love market days. It is so much fun to get to spend some time with our amazing NPCs and to collect all of the beautiful coins that we can spend on so many fun things. And for some reason, it seems to have been tradition thus far to begin our market days in our beautiful Garden of Eden, which we're so busy traveling and doing park rangers, zookeeping, all sorts of important safari building, cave diving stuff that I don't often get to come to my garden anymore. So it's really fun to start off in the Garden of Eden. And hello, Nightlock. Who's a good kitty? But we have a very busy day ahead of us, Nightlock. I hope you don't mind if I'm, oh, okay, here's a little scritch behind the ears. I know, I know, who's a good kitty? But we do have a very big day ahead of us. And today we only have two of the usual crew with us. We have Sunflower, of course. And she's actually gonna stay in her safari net for a little bit. Ooh, and I gotta put this onion seed away. And then we've got Pine! And the reason we just have Pine is because I have run out of reusable safari nets. They are currently being occupied by a great deal of uh, hostile animals. Plus a goat ate one. A goat named Strawberry ate one Pine. It was very, it was very upsetting. But Lily and Tate are still over at the Meadow of Horses watching over our new farmland while I'm going to be spending the day with Pine for just a minute watch out watch out little butterflies and everybody else and we're gonna come in we haven't harvested the greenhouse in a little while and I actually have a very special place in mind okay everybody watch out Whoa. Oh, okay good man they really they really crowd around so I'm so worried I'm gonna like reach over at Luna watch out <gasps> phew I'm just trying to like collect my spice leaves but we have so many little butterflies inside of our greenhouse they're very pretty though all right, watch out, Pine. Good puppy, wait. All right, let's harvest these up. But I do have a very special place in mind for where we will be spending our wonderful day. Ooh, we can make a book now, Pine, for where we will be spending our market day. Instead of going into town like we normally do, what I want to do today is actually go visit the lovely ladies in the mud salon. And let's see what they trade and what we can trade to them. Are you ready for that, Pine? Come on and teleport down. We're going to spend some time with our itty bitty puppy today. Also, just doing a quick little bit of gardening. I love the new winter garden we have put in. Absolutely lovely. We really need to replace all these torches with some of the lamps or some glowstone or something. Do I have an axe? I think I used up my axe in the meadow of horses actually because, in fact, I'm going to put my armor on because there was quite a bit of work going on over there. I think I have indeed used my poor little axe up. Oh my gosh, there's just stuff everywhere. Oh yeah, and we should probably go over and harvest the Geishel fields now that I think about it. So we'll pop over to the Geishel fields. We'll harvest those two. Oh look, I have one gold coin. Sweet. Um, let's harvest up this coffee bean stuff. We'll get more coffee roasting. We will have to pop into... Am I not picking them up? Me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've got too many things. All right, hang on, coffee seeds. I'm coming. All right, we'll throw all these seeds in here. There we go. There we go. Good. Let's go gather up those coffee seeds. Yeah, that's better. And we'll get these roasting. Good, good, good. And we're going to roast to these because there are indeed some awesome people. Hello, Artemis. Inside of the Village of Light who would very much appreciate a cup of roasted coffee. And I believe it's just throwing it into the furnace. Let's double check. I want to make sure that's not like roasted coffee seeds. Is that coffee? It's coffee! It's a cup of coffee! So we've got that done. And then, oh, good job, Pine! Are you sniffing Artemis? Are you getting to meet her? Artemis is like, Mom! Mom! The puppy is in my face. I know. I know, Artemis. I apologize. And our tomatoes! We actually need to keep these tomatoes. No, oh, you know what? I'm going to leave them here, actually. I'm going to leave them here because they are some of our very first tomatoes we have ever harvested. And we'll turn them into a delicious meal at some point in the future. Let me just put this away. I have some apples to eat for the day. Oh my gosh, I've been using so many of these cypress saplings. We have a really amazing amazing Saturday special in store tomorrow you guys I've been working really really hard I was away for the weekend and I was able to work really 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 hard with my cousins who love watching me play Minecraft so together we built a really awesome house pine pine what are you doing are you sniffing look at him I almost didn't even see him he's just like he's just like hiding up there pine you are just such a goose bucket you are just like your daddy oh so cute 
But let's go ahead and we're going to visit Ethan first, I think. Let's gather up all of these seeds. And we'll go visit Ethan really quickly uh, to trade these into him. Oh, oops. What am I doing? I was trying to move them up here and go into the wrong spot. And then we will also visit um, the house because I need to grab my coin purse. Hi, are you coming? Nom, 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 nom. A little bit of the cake my boys made me. So delicious, so delicious. Also, let's enchant a book really quickly. And in fact, I actually want to take um, most of these books into the village and see if anyone will trade me for them. Because, uh, and you know what, some of this paper too. Because I think we can go raiding some of the uh, bookshelves and the books from the Lich's Castle. There's several Lich Castles in Twilight Forest, and I think it would be amazing to free those books, to free the knowledge trapped within those books, and to bring them to the librarians in the Village of Light so they can totally freak out and be happy and give us coins for our hard-earned efforts. So I think that's going to be great. Uh, I need to remember to take a book and quill today so I can write down people's trades. And now we're going to enchant this book. Oh, hello, Persephone! You've scooched! You have scooched, my dear. Let me scooch you back up here. I just don't want to step on you. Were you reading a book down here? Yeah? Oh, Persephone's so cool. She is our book cat, our library cat. Spending time in the library. Oh, you're so cool, Persephone. All right, we're going to put this book in here and enchant it. Sharpness 3, a common one. Not so bad, though. Not so bad. Oh, look at that. We have now fully filled up this entire area. Uh, I think we do have some fire protection, so we might make some fire protection armor at some point. If I can't do that with other things, Pine. But alright, so we've got some things for trade. Let's go grab our coin purse. Uh, and is there anything I can just shove in here for now? Mm, I kind of need all of these things. Let's see. Uh, let's just put this away. Let's keep Sunflower with us. Probably need my sword just in case. Never know when you might need these things. I can put away the extra shears. The lead, the apples. Actually, while we're here, Pine! Thank you for helping me remember. While we are here, we need to grab tons more apples. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and... This is the purpose that we've collected all of these apples for. So I'm going to grab all of these apples and put them in here. Oh, I hear my boys. And then we're going to go downstairs and we're going to grab a bunch of gold so that we can make golden apples so that we can breed our horses back in the meadow of horses. And I also need to get, let's see, I think it's uh, maybe some raw ores. <gasps> Look at all that gold ore. We're going to take all this gold ore with us. Hello, Pine. And actually, a whole bunch of coal. In fact, I'm just going to grab this block of coal. There we go. So even though it's market day, we are kind of stocking up on stuff that we're going to need for the Meadow of Horses and the gold. And then let's go get some pumpkins from inside. And then we're, we're just prepared for tomorrow because we'll have so much work. Oh my gosh, I knew the Meadow of Horses project was going to be kind of big, but I had no idea how big. All right, that entire thing of pumpkins. And then I'm just going to throw it in here, actually. All right. So off we go. What I really want to do today, like I said, is go visit the ladies over at the mud salon and see what kind of trades they have. Because I set up so many trades every week, you guys. I forget what everyone trades, and it's kind of interesting. I have a rat problem under my house somewhere. I just don't know where. One day I will find that rat. I always hear it in my house. It's very alarming. All right, here's my coin purse. Now there was one stray coin. Whoops. One stray coin somewhere. There it is! Got it. So let's go ahead and we're going to put the one stray coin away. Put my coin purse up here and let's go visit Ethan, Pine. Come on. Come on, Pine. Come on, Pup Pup. Come on. Do I have food for you? I hope I have food for you. Yeah, I've got rabbit oatmeal and berries for him. So we've got food for him. Pine! Pine, puppy! I have food. I have food. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, well, you can teleport then. If you want to work on your teleportating skills, that's fine by me. There we go. And by the way, Christina is back. Christina, ooh, fudge knuckles. I jumped on my own my own little crop fields. Oh, I, let's go ahead. It's our functional farms. I gotta love our functional little decorative farms. There you go, Pine. Stand you back up. 
I love it. We got to do more of these and decorate more. What do you guys think we should plant around the zoo and where? And hey, little pig, if I had extra safari nuts right now, I would catch you and take you back to the meadow of horses because that's where all the livestock are going. But Christina is now back. So she disappeared for a little while. There, there, spots. No need to be so noisy. I will get your kitty food out in time for lunch, I promise. Oh, Christina, I'm so glad you're back. But she did vanish on us for a little bit. So I, I recreated her. She is back. Her trades are a little bit different now. She still trades all of the azaleas, including the Enderman azalea. When we do our, our stronghold, we need to put down tons of Enderman azaleas. That's from the old world, where every time I found an Enderman block moved that was a dirt block, I put these azaleas on top of it because I thought that was an awesome present. Little dirt blocks moving around from the awesome Enderman stopping by. And and she also does still trade for oak saplings, stacks of dirt, and chocolate strawberries. And now that she has her cat spots, she also trades for pet food. So you can bring her pet food and you can bring her, um, let's see, and pet food's pretty easy to make actually. Do I have any fish? I found out pet food is just fish and pork mixed together, but I don't have either. So pine? Pine. Looks like Pine's sniffing the bunnies. But hello, Christina. It is so good to see you again. I hope you enjoyed your vacation wherever you went. And she is back. And it is night, but we should be okay. I think there's a bed inside of the, uh, yeah, there's a bed inside the reptile house we'll just pop into real quick. Ooh, ooh, it's a spider, string, string, come to me, string, string. Oh, glorious day, Pine, we've got more string. Oh, that's wonderful. String, string, carrying my two little string in my hand. How wonderful to have string. All right, then we'll pop up here. Come on in, Pine. I'm going to close the door. Oops. Did you know you could do that? Well, my string's gone now. But look at that. I had no idea you could decorate things like that. Like you, could put, you could put cobwebs on carpenter's blocks. That is so cool. Except it stole my string, which is not cool. But I'll leave that there for now, I guess. <laughs> oh, my string. Oh well. Do I have anything in here I could trade? Oh wow! I have a lot of cobblestone and actually people have been saying we should build a really cool mine in the Village of Light, especially since we found that amazing cavern under the Village of Light lake last week. Uh, that was really, really, really fun. And so we'll probably have somebody we can trade stacks of cobblestone pretty cheap to because it's easy, easy, easy peasy. Ooh, we've got a couple eggs in here. Ooh, coral snake eggs. I should have just hatched those. All right, a lot of raw rat, some raw fish, raw pork chop. Oh, hey, we could feed Christina's cat for her. Yeah, we'll go back and do that, too, because all you have to do is put raw fish and pork chop together. And ta-da, you've got pet food. So we'll go help Christina with her cat. Coal, stone. Oh, this brings back memories, flipping through all these. Oh, we've got a lot of glass in there. Uh, ooh, lots of gold. We can, oh, my gosh, look at all the iron. What? I had stuff in here. I totally forgot about it. Bromeliads, gardenias, a lot of these like transformed when we moved to this world. There's acacia saplings here. Oh my gosh. Ugh, there's leather here? What? Clearly I need to come and spend some time like tidying up these staff lounge, snake lounge. Man, this is, those were my string. Can I, can I have it back? Can I have my string back please? There we go. Let's put the carpenter's door back down and then we will put back down the limestone blocks and then we'll get out our little carpenter's hammer. Carpenter's, there it is. Pine! Pine doesn't really stay underfoot the way Lily and Tate do. Like I'm used to tripping over my dogs and Pine's just kind of like, I'm alright. Pine, you can teleport in now. <laughs> and if you are one of oh pine there you are my good puppy and if you are one of the uh, reptile house keepers and you would like to have trades please let me know in comments what you would like to trade and i will be happy to help out if you are not and still would like to suggest things that the reptile house keepers could trade go for it i would love to hear ideas because i love setting up trades with almost all the npcs all right let's pop down here and visit the ladies nicole and annie and do we still have <gasps> it's chad he's still okay Annie oh Chad I'm glad you're still here even if you do refuse to wear our awesome mud armor all right so let's see Nicole how are you my dear let's see what you trade again 
That's right. She will trade if you make her boots. That's right. Or bubbly water. Or bring mud balls or fresh water to her. So that's a pretty good thing. And then Annie. Annie trades mud to you. And she also loves these powders. Like if you make these powders. Those require string though. And we don't often have a lot of string. So you know what? I think today is going to be a mud day. And we'll bring all the mud to Nicole. Ooh, one to one? What? I had no idea I did a one to one ratio. That might be a little overpowered, but I think we will fly on sunflower and we will go find like a mud area pine and oh, you're getting a little hungry. And we'll do that today. So today we're going to fly off into the distance. We're going to collect a bunch of mud and we are going to bring it back to Annie. So Pine, you want to get in your safari net for just a minute? Pine, there's Epic, Pine. Oh, are you sniffing stuff? Here you go. Here you go, Pine. All right, we'll put Pine away for just a little bit because he's going to come with us. And then let's pop out here and then get Sunflower out. Oh, I hear the little baby zombie Chad growling. That's so cute. Now let's go visit Ethan over at the bird aviary. Really quickly, trade him for his wonderful roasted seeds because we've got to make sure the, be the birds, the beads. The beads? What the heck's a bead, huh, Sunflower? <laughs> and then we'll, we've got to trade to Ethan really quickly. Oh no, I didn't fix it yet. Okay, you guys, we've decided that six is way too overpowered. So I'm going to show you guys when we have to fix a... Oh, look at the ant. I love it when the ants run with eggs. <gasps> the ant brought me this egg. That was the sweetest thing. Oh my goodness. That means our chicken that must be in here must be grown up. I want to give that chicken a special name and take it to my chicken coop in the middle of horses. But this is how, uh, if you need to alter an NPC, because some of you guys have asked me, you do it. We come up to Ethan. We right click on him with the NPC wand. And then we go into his advanced trader. He's a trader. We click edit. And then you can tr like edit what the trades and everything are. And we always try to keep it pretty fair. And we decided that two coins, uh, I think we decided two coins was fair <laughs> on all of the, uh, the, the stuff that we get from him. Then we delete that, and we delete these. Did I, did I set it right? Yeah, and he does two coins. And then we go back into the proper game mode. There we go. So that's how you do it. That's how you set it up. So if you need to trade to somebody, uh, you can you can kind of tweak their trades a little bit. So now that we have the appropriate amount of coins for our, our wonderful piles of roasted pumpkin seeds, let's come over here. And basically what we're doing is we're bringing Ethan the seeds that he needs in order to feed and take care of all the animals. So I think that it's still a pretty good deal because for like every stack of seeds, we get two stacks of coins. <laughs> so we were making a ton of money before. Oh, and we'll just give him the little egg, our, our chicken egg from our little, uh, our little chicken that's running around in here. Yay, Ethan! Oh, and there's, I can't wait to get more squirrels. I really want to go on a squirrel hunt in the Village of Light, or in the uh, Twilight Forest to try to get a squirrel. Sunflower, do you want some of these seeds? Is that what that twi 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 is for? You want some seeds? All right, let's get in here. Put these coins away. Ethan, I swear, you are like our main source of income. We're just in like the bird seed industry. That's what we, we make most of our money off of is making bird seeds. <laughs> uh, and then he feeds them to the birds that we have in here. I really would love to have like 30 or 40 or 50 birds inside of this uh, aviary though. Right now we have just like maybe a handful. So that's another thing we'll be working on is collecting even more little Twilight Forest birds that we can add in here and making sure they all have names. So if they happen to mysteriously suffocate in a wall the way poor Doug the Squirrel did, then we will be able to find that out and fix whatever the problem is. They no longer drown thanks to the amazing people who helped me out with that. So if you guys are watching, thank you so much. No more drowning birds. Yay, Ethan! Your pockets are bursting with pumpkin seeds. And so he has gotten that taken care of. That's plenty to feed all of the animals. And now let's run down and just give that pet food to our wonderful friend, Christina, real quick. And then we're going to go and just do a little bit of exploring to collect some mud that we can trade to the mud salon ladies because they are new in the area. And I want them to be successful in their endeavors. Oh, and some more strawberries already. Did we do sunflower? What does it take to make chocolate strawberries actually for Christina? Hmm. It takes a chocolate bar. 
Oh my gosh, that's a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. <laughs> we'll have to have a chocolate making day one day. All right, for now we'll bring Christina her pet food for her kitty. All right, here's the pet food. And here's our coins, yay! I really hope that was like good. Let's see, are you finding everything you need seriously? Just ask me if you have questions. I'd be happy to help you. Hmm, will it rain today or do I need to water the flowers? Christina, I hope it all goes well for you. The rain doesn't come down too hard. There we go, or if you want it to, that it does. Oh, I love our world. It's so alive, you guys. Isn't that wonderful, Sunflower? And Sunflower, don't worry. I've seen how you've been looking at that handsome chocobo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I think he would make you a wonderful mate, Sunflower. All right, so let's pop up here. And here we go. So if I recall correctly, we've spent very little time in the bayous, but there should be a bayou kind of behind Kaffer's house. Oh, for just a second, you could see the pigment. That was awesome. But there is like a, a swamp bayou area sort of past Kaffer's house. Kaffer's house, yay. Her sheep are still doing well, yay. Okay, so this is one of the things I remembered, and it has polar bears of all things, and tigers. Look at those guys. Is that a mammoth? What is that? <gasps> it's an ice scorpion! I have not seen one of those ones yet. Sunflower! Sunflower, what am I going to do? Okay, I have to get that. I have to. Alright, Sunflower, hang on. Oh, dangerous. Oh, dangerous. Oh, did I get it? I think I got it. Oh my gosh! Ouch! Ouch! Help! Oh my gosh, help! Jeez, polar bear! That was unnecessary! Oh, I thought that was like the the wolf, but it was a polar bear coming to get me. Jeez! I hate having to like kill them, but man! They're, they're merciless. Look at all those mushroom sunflower! I would love picking those! But we are on the hunt for mud, and I am pretty sure there's like a wasteland or a swamp over here somewhere. Here's some scrublins with lots of zebra and scrublin plants because this is heading towards um, where the beautiful cherry grove is and I know by the cherry grove what there's a fire org what is going on sunflower woo okay let's let everything load in sunflower if there's this many monsters in the day I think we better take a nap soon all right, where are we now? Did we overshoot Sunflower? Oh, there's an Enderman, what? Sunflower, let's land on this safe little island for just a minute and get out, get out my uh, carpenter's bed. A blue scorpion, that's so exciting, except I'm totally out of <laughs> safari nets now. You can see over there, Mr. Enderman. All right, get my little bed, put this away. You ready, Sunflower? And we're back off into the wilderness. I definitely think we went the wrong direction though, darling. So let mom let mom get out her waypoints. Where's Cherry Blossom Valley? Whoops. Yep, mom went the wrong way, sweetheart. Don't be alarmed. I totally somehow I took a <laughs> took a right turn when I should have gone left or something. Do you wanna do you wanna run, Sunflower? Is it a little too taxing to keep flying? Yeah. Okay, well we'll set down in just a minute. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Now we're back in an area that I think we've been in before. All right, let's fly past this place. Up, darling, up. Oh, hello. It's the bamboo forest. The bamboo forest or a bamboo forest? Sunflower, sweetheart, I think I got us lost. Mm-hmm. There's some cows. We could collect some bamboo for Ethan. Or not Ethan, Jacob. Sunflower, I really thought there was mud over here, and I, I have egg on my face. Oh, wait, here's some mud! <laughs> we found it! Victory! Also, Komodo dragons! I forgot about that part. Wee! Okay, set down. There we go. So now, here we are. Oh, and there's cute little, there's cute little turtles here. Oh, look at this. All right. We're here to collect some mud. So we're gonna collect a wee bunch, wee bunch of this mud. Eh, come here, that's right. Come here, mud. With the help of mole fingers. So we're just gonna go through. There we go. Get over here, mud, float to the top. I'm gonna collect all of you. Go, mole fingers, go! And then the ladies will be able to make so much mud armor. 
as much mud armor as you can shake a stick at with all this stuff. Relaxing mud baths. We are like helping out. We are assisting our, our wonderful zoo in being able to continue its fantastic efforts at meeting uh, all of the needs of the people who come to visit our zoo. All right, did I get enough mud? Let's check out, let's check out how much I've got. Oh wow, that doesn't, that doesn't give you as much as you think of it. Oh, that's because it's still floating. Come here, little mud. Come here. Come here. Oh, come down here. I gotcha. I gotcha. Swimming in the swampy, muddy waters. Alright. Alright. There's another little collection of it. I think I got it. Hang on, sunflower. This would be easier if I could find some mud patches on land. Oh, that's much better. Alright. And actually, let's whip out our steel shears because it, there's actually some nice, nice plant specimens. Woo! Gotta watch out, the mud also can kind of suffocate you. Not as badly as quicksand, but goodness, it can definitely do a bit of a bit of a doozy. All right, darling, whilst riding on your back, we will cautiously poke around this area. What is this considered? This is a dead swamp sunflower. Not much to it. Do watch out for the Komodo dragons, though. You probably look like a delicious meal to them. How big is this dead swamp, anyway? We might collect some of the, the bamboo that's growing here, Sunflower. Alright, ooh, look, this is a good spot. Lots of mud. Good good bit of mud. Did I hear the, the growl of a crocodile? What is that? There's lots of pine pineapples over there. We might have to go get some of those pineapples later. Oh, I love it. But we're helping we're helping the ecology or the ecology, the economy of our zoo by collecting this mud you see you guys because we gotta help the new girls in fact we will take a refreshing mud bath we might buy something from them once we finish our trade how about that that's really how you can help out with the the economy is keeping it moving with purchases all right eh. oh the water's going absolutely bedonkers because i'm messing up the flow collecting all this mud look at this wall of glorious soft mud I'm sure it's been sitting here collecting all sorts of wonderful nutrients. Oh, that definitely is the sound of a hungry crocodile. Snap, snap, snapping away. So we'll have to be careful about that. Ooh, look at all the mud. Come here, little mud. Ah, dig it, dig it, dig it. Oh, it's hard to tell. I'm definitely turning this into a whirlpool. All right, let's go ahead. Because you can take the mud blocks. Ah, dang it. I have to re-break those. Oh, well. Well, hang on. All right. All right. So let's throw the mud in here. And then I think that should be a good amount to trade. I want the little... Nope. I see you. I see you. You're right there. Gotcha. And there's some more right over here. Got it. One adventure. You never know where you're going to end up on a day-to-day -day basis. Not even I know. That's what I love about this job, though. You never know what you're going to be doing next. You never know who would have known that taking good care of our zoo would require that we go and harvest mud from a dead swamp so that a couple lovely ladies uh, can, can make mud baths. Hmm? Hmm? Yes, you wouldn't have expected that. And while we're here, let's go ahead and get these bamboo shoots, because they're needed for crafting Tropicraft stuff. Plus, I consider them an invasive species. They're supposed to stay in the Tropicraft realm, and they don't, so I never feel bad knocking them down. They're an invasive species of bamboo. They're in the wrong realm. Oh dear. I may have been a little overzealous on this mud harvesting and gotten ourselves stuck in a hole. I appear to be digging the hole deeper, rather than getting out of the hole. This, this should be a warning in life. Alright, let's get a little bit more. Oi, 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 oi. Come here. Do I have any more room? No, I don't. That's because of seeds. Out of here, little seeds. Out of here, spider's eye. Alright, there we go. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. I'm coming, sunflower. I'm starting to drown, so it's time to get out of here. Alright, that should be enough mud, I think, to keep things interesting. There we go. Did we do? Did we do indeed, sunflower? And, oh, oh, that looks like one darn hungry little crocodile. All right, one second, Sunflower. I'm just going to harvest up some of these bamboo so that Ethan, or Jacob, can have his bamboo for the future pandas. I really, really want to work on the panda reserves. Isn't it amazing how much stuff we always have to do in our zoo? It's just boggling, boggling the mind. 
and just wait till we get the tortoises. We're gonna give the tortoises the special Ninja Turtle names and like build a little dojo for them. There we go. That should be a good amount. Yeah. Oh wow, we don't even have a whole stack yet. Woohoo! Got ourselves poisoned because I ran. Ra oh fudge. Sunflower, I think it's time to get out. Mom is getting attacked and eaten and poisoned. What a day in the swamp, Sunflower. How exciting. Let's get out of here. Thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> well, that got a little exciting. All right, now let's find our way home. Right over there. Let's go, you guys. Oh, I missed like these giant patches of mud. That's fine. That would have been a lot easier. All right, and while we're flying on our way home, we'll check if there's anything under our feet that we want to collect. Lots and lots and lots of uh, rubber trees, it seems. We'll go around this little spot. I think I just took like a hard right where I should have gone left, and that's where we messed up. Oh, there's more pumpkins. More polar bears. Got to be careful around those guys. They don't particularly like me. I wonder if I have any, anything to leave Kaffirs, because we're at our farm, so let's let's slow down for a second. I know, the tweet poo. All right. I want to see if I can leave her a present. Just in case. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll leave a little present right over here if I have anything. Uh, let's give her a pink oriental lily. Because those are like really rare and hard to find. So I'm just going to casually... There. I think I gave her that hibiscus in the past too. So now she's got more presents. All right. And let's go. And let's go trade the girls. And then we'll pop in and see if you've got enough books to trade to the librarians. And then we will go and we will trade Iverson! The wonderful Iverson. Be right back, Sunflower. We will trade the wonderful Iverson for more safari nets, which is going to be awesome. All right, Annie. Uh, actually, I need to trade to Nicole. Nicole, pardon me. I have brought you much. I swear I have a lot of mud. It was just, like, put in my pack. Okay, hang on. Dang, and let me, um, sorry, I've got all this stuff. <laughs> I have all this stuff, just out stuff. Okay, let's see. Garlic seeds, and, okay, we gotta take that bamboo to a different, okay. I've got, I've got mud for you! I've got mud, where'd she go? I have much mud! Freshly harvested. I promise it happens to be, um, like, free. Of, of any any bad creatures creatures uh, actually you know I think 12 is probably too much because that's like a one to one mun ratio isn't it all right we're gonna make sure that this is fair guys and I'm gonna change it right now so that we don't get an overpowered amount of mud because that was pretty easy to collect I'm like come here Nicole we just had to go on a little adventure for it so we're gonna split that and split it um, let me think I think we will split it into four coins there we go. I think that's that's more appropriate. Whoops. And then let's get rid of the... But now you guys see how we make sure that we keep it a balanced ecosystem. Eco I keep saying ecosystem. A balanced monetary ecosystem, also known as an economy. There we go. Uh, All right. And here we are. And now we can trade. That feels slightly more fair. Uh, yeah, that feels more fair. All right. Nope, don't have enough mud. All right, oops. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, maybe it's too, maybe it's too low now. Dang it. <laughs> okay, so maybe, maybe actually having it at uh, six was better. Whoops. All right, here we go. Here we go. Trading out the mud. And little Chad, are you growling at us, little Chad? You're so cute. It's not terrible. I mean, you know, for collecting mud, which was a very simple task. All right. Oh, I got some more for you, Nicole. And we can always make her some nice little boots. I'm, oh, if we had <laughs> harvested up some of the reptiles that were there, if we had cleared out some of those uh, populations of snapping crocodiles, then we would have been able to bring her some of the reptile boots. But, you know, we try not to play that way. We try to be very conscious of taking good care of the ecosystems in the wild, as well as those in our zoo. It's very rarely that we have to, like, actually wield our sword to keep the ecosystems balanced, and I like it that way. It might have been time better spent just, like, harvesting a bazillion things of fresh water for her, <laughs> but <laughs> that's okay. We've got some. There we go. All right, should I break these mud blocks? Let's try breaking these mud blocks. One second, Nicole. 
Do 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 do. And then this shouldn't be too hard. Just like this, or like this even. And moving forward. And voila! Mud, 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 mud everywhere. Yay! Oh, and I still love their adorable little centerpiece with the little club foot, little club foot um, moss going on there. All right. You know, that's not bad. I feel like that's a fair amount of trade uh, for the mud. And then, Annie, I'm going to come over and speak with you. And, ooh, guys, let's get some tea from Annie. Oh, I love tea. So let's get, let's get, let's see. Actually, I want some essence of moss tea. Oh, that sounds delicious. And a couple spiced mushroom teas. There we go. I think that sounds fantastic. Thank you very much, Annie. I forgot that you gave us tea, so I'm going to drink oh, the come one with the moss, the essence of moss tea. Om nom 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 nom. And some spiced mushroom tea to warm us up. Oh, look, the mushrooms are spreading. Are you being silly mushrooms? Are you being silly mushrooms? There we go. Got those. Going to put those away. And... All right, gonna pop into the bed and look at how many coins we have. And I swear that's mostly from bird seeds. <laughs> and then we're gonna go give the rest of this bamboo over to our good friend, George. George? Jacob. Oh, I have to work through the names. I'm getting there. Don't worry, I forget real life family names all the time too. But, oh, so we've learned so many things. We've learned what the girls in the mud salon trade. And we've learned that you can put cobwebs on doors. And we've learned that Pine likes to wander off. So it's probably best that I keep his, his aunt and his dad with us. And Sunflower has given us four feathers. Thank you, darling. Are you, are you um, maybe molting? Is, is that what you're telling me? Oh yeah, and I forgot we could have traded all those geishal greens, but that's okay. We've got a lot of coins for the day. Whoops, I am visiting Ethan. That was... Oh, Sunflower, sorry about that. That was the wrong direction. I actually need to visit Jacob. And he's right over here. Hello, Jacob. Holy days, I love how busy and live our, our beautiful zoo feels. So we're going to visit Jacob, and we are actually going to tra the, trade the short tassel bamboo to him for some coins. Here we go. Now I've got a whole bunch of coins. And now it's time to go into town, Sunflower. Woo! I love market days. It's just so nice to spend a little bit of time, like, interacting with the NPCs and interacting with all of the, the things we can do here, the trades, the people, the shopping. All right, look at all those villagers. Oh, laggity lag as it all loads in. Did we do indeed, darling? All right, Sunflower, you go ahead. Oof, there it goes. Stay here. And then I'm gonna pop in here. Hello, Emily. Do you trade books? No, you don't. Sabiai, do you trade books? Only to me, okay. Pretty sure I could find somebody here. Ooh, a bottle of enchanting, nice. Let's see, Ashley, Villager, Rachel. Dinopedia, Cole, hmm, Shelly, no, hmm, I'm sure I had somebody here who will trade me for books and paper. Victor, what about you? He trades for paper, so I'll trade you for paper, sir. Do, 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 do. Nice, nice, and I need more paper. He also trades you for tea, I should remember that. Because tea is very refreshing. And actually, we're going to start tea gardens over in the Asian forest area. All right. There we go. So at least I've got the paper traded. Let's see. What about upstairs? Hello, Morgan. Let's see. She trades paper, but I already gave all the paper. Whoops. Let's see. Oh, wait. I had a couple paper left because she does smaller denominations of paper, doesn't she? Yeah. Look at that. Boom. So that takes care of the last two paper. I hope you have a good time writing, Morgan. Destiny, meat, mochi. Let's see, that's gold. Odyssey books, thank goodness. And we might unlock Odyssey's next trade, so that'll be fun. And this is straight up for emeralds, so it's like we're cutting out the middleman. Woohoo! Ah, refusing to trade. Odyssey, thank you so much. All right, let's see what's going on over here. 
this is a farmer who doesn't have a name. If you guys have villager names, leave them in the comments section below because Mochi and Odyssey need their friends to have names too. And I'm keeping much better track now. All right, so now it trades for bookshelves. Thank you, but no thank you. Let's see, another farmer. Let's see, diamond pickaxe. Emily? Nope. What about you? Me? Okay. Tucker, how are you doing today? Good. He's still working on writing his books and he trades to you. Let's see. Good. Okay. So that was awesome actually. We found that Odyssey trades for books. So let's go see if I can find anyone else. Sunflower, I'm pretty sure. Thank you for the feathers again, my love. I'm pretty sure that we've got... Oh, look at all these avocados. I know that the... the oh, hello. And the, I forgot we had rescue deer here. Ouch. Oh my goodness, Kimo! <laughs> Kimo, you just showed up out of the blue and like rescued me from that very aggressive, um, very aggressive, uh, uh, wild pig, boar. And I forgot, these are two rescue deer that we probably need to make a new forest for, so that'll be fun. Alright, let me gather up all these avocado deer. Could you, could you kick the avocado towards me? No? Okay, hang on. But there is somebody who trades for avocado over in the early bird farm. So much to do. Kimo, you are such a good girl, but what are you doing out of Ela's yard? I'm going to have to take you back to Ela. Wait, Ela, Ela. Yeah, I think, wait, Isla? Isla, Isla's yard. Oh, why do I always get her name wrong? You know I don't mean it. You know I don't mean it. My friend. All right, and then we're going to pop over here. There's a lot of avocado trees in the Village of Light. I've never really noticed that before. Alright. Nice. And then I'm pretty sure that Dyson here, he trades books to you, but he doesn't trade books. Okay. Noted. Noted. I wonder if Joe trades books. Hey, Ryan! You are the one in the early worm farm. If I said bird, I meant worm. Who trades for avocados because he helps you help him pick the avocados out of his tree. And then he will trade avocados to you. So, let's see. We're going to pick these little avocados out of the tree. There we go. And then come talk to Ryan. And we have 26 avocados to trade. Boom. Oh, man. We are on a roll today, you guys. We are literally rolling in the money. Oh, my gosh. What a successful market day. Mostly because we saved up all those, all those things. And we could get another Moon Room Queen from him. Oh, that's so tempting. <gasps> I just remembered we need to buy our farming outfit while we're here. Oh, that'll be fantastic. Oh, and I forgot to bring the coffee. Oh, well, we'll bring the coffee next week. Because I know Joe and one of the people in the inn. Hello, Joe. Enjoy a good hot cup of coffee. Uh, no, dang it. We need to have Joe get books, too. Because it makes sense that she would want to read fresh books. And she teaches the villagers how to read. So there we go. Okay. Kimo, you have followed me. Good. Um... I'm going to get Pine out. There you go, Pine. It's okay. And I'm going to take Kimo back to her mom's house, which is right over here. And her mom is back, too. Ela here also, or Isla here also vanished, but I have returned her. Kimo, stay with your mom, okay? Sit. There we go. Pine's here, and so is Anita, and so is Ginger. Good. So everybody's here. I've got plenty of dog food for now. And now I need to go and visit our wonderful banker. And I need to trade some of my coins. Hello, Victor. How are you doing? Huh? Redstone, Victor. Really? Redstone? Okay, we're going to come over here and down here. Oh my gosh, and we are wealthy. What a market day. What a market day. Village Leader Math Matthew, what do you trade? I always forget. May I see? Do you not trade anything, Matthew? Is that how it is? Hmm. I'll be right back. There we go. And now everybody's moving again. Just had to give the server a good kick. All right, Amber. I have mini coins. They are going to become mini, mini, mini emeralds. Um, which, okay, there we go. All right. Slowly but surely transferring these over into emeralds. I think we should just get like a ton of emeralds and then... Oh, just imagine all the trades we'll be able to do with our boys in Iverson. That's going to be fantastic. So I'll go ahead and get like, uh, eh, maybe 30 emeralds. We'll see where that gets us. But I also need to remember, let's see, I need my coin purse open. This again. Okay, hang on, guys. 
All right, and we are back, guys. Sorry about that. For some reason, we just had a little internet glitch for a moment. Hello, Chip. How are you doing? And check this out. We have lots of things. We've got 33 emeralds. We've got some emerald coins. We've got diamond coins. Eight diamond coins. And we've got some gold coins. So I am pretty excited because that means we are going to have an amazing shopping day. Thank you, Amber. You know, I'm kind of tempted to, like, own one of these saves. And then we can just, we can just leave our gold coins, like, half of our gold gold coins here. Also, there must be a torch under here. That's kind of hilarious. There's just a little smoke screen coming out. But Pine is such a silly puppy. He would not come inside at all. So I think that he's very shy. He's probably more of an outdoors sort of pup. So I think that's kind of hilarious because Lily and Tate are like always coming inside and I'm tripping over them all the time. Not these two, but I just remembered I want to get my little outfit. There's a cow outfit we can get at the Leathers and More store. It's kind of like a vanity item more than anything because it's not very good for uh for like if you just want protection and armor but i mean look at it look at how cute it is and we can wear it while we are doing our work in the village of or the meadow of horses our farming village oh can i afford the whole set or just the boots it looks like i can afford like the boots Oh, you guys were right. She does buy string. Yay! And she sells string. Yay! I knew that part, but I didn't know she bought string as well. And wool! Can you imagine how much money we could make once we start bringing some of the wool from the, the beautiful sheep we are going to get? Oh, that'll be fun. Ooh, and we should get a carpet from her, too. Put it down in our new house. Oh, I'm really tempted to do that now, actually. Okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna get carpet. We're gonna get four pieces of carpet from her so that we can put carpet down in the new house. And we're buying the carpet, so that's why it's more fun than making it ourselves. And then we are going to buy the cow leather boots and the cow leather hat, at least. Can we get those two at least? Seven, yep. We're doing it, you guys. We're doing it, oh my gosh. I just bought silly things that have no purpose. <gasps> but look at how cute we are, oh my goodness. No. Moo, moo. <laughs> we're so gonna be wearing these at least the boots at least the boots we're gonna be wearing when we are working in uh the meadow of horses because that's just too fun i'll have to build a little armor stand for it and everything that'll be so fun but all right let's close that pine see what i mean he just doesn't stay inside hey blake hey there you are pine good boy and now let's see i've got sunflower right Nope, I left her over uh, by the library. Pine, there you are, boy. Come here. So let's go jump on the back of Sunflower and go visit Iverson and our boys, and we will conduct the final trade of the day. All right, come along, Sunflower dear. To the boys' house. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 dodge those trees, sunflower, good girl. I love seeing all of our paths on oh, the beautiful, beautiful magic trees. We really should put those down in more places. And here we go. And there's Boulder. And by the way, you guys were so cute telling me Boulder is too young to be retired. So I may reconsider that. I was just thinking it would be really cute to have him like drop random little things of moss. So we might make him do that anyway. All right, but let us find where Iverson's hanging out. He is over here and actually, uh-uh. You guys? You guys? Okay, hang on. I'm gonna get Pine out. And I'm gonna move the goats to the other side of the yard. All the way over here. I haven't contained them yet. That might be a side quest. No joke. That might be a side quest soon. Polka dot. Got polka dot the goat. Oh, senior! There you are! Did the goats push you into the corner? Let me get you out of there, buddy. Put you under the tree. There you go, pup pup. There. Alright. I think I'm safe. All right, Iverson, let's do this. I have brought so many emeralds. So many emeralds, Iverson. Single use. Mystery. So I forgot I had to make. I totally blanked out on that. I totally forgot that I actually need to make some of those safari nuts first. Pine, stay in guard, Iverson. Oh, why, 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 why? Okay, let's see. Let's clear our packs. We've got some room to do that. Put all this away. I gotta put the gold coins away. Pine, did you just follow me even though I told you to stay in- Oh, not senior. <laughs> Sorry, senior. You look like Pine out of the corner of my eye. Alright, then put away the wrong pork chop. I forgot to write down the notes again. That's fine. Gotta put these away so the goats don't eat all my stuff. Oh, I'm so worried. What if they ate like Bat Pick or one of my precious tools? I would never forgive those goats. 
All right, let's ride the little current. And then tomorrow for our side quest, we will open up the mystery safari nuts. All right, if you guys were able to shop at the meadow of, or the village of light, what things would you buy? Like, let me know, cause I'm really curious. We might be able to spend more specific time visiting certain people. All right, so let's see. I managed to, oh, I forgot I had a whole bunch of these in here. Sweet. I'll swap out all the animals that are all the monsters and things that are hiding in our reusable safari nets before uh, I go back to the meadow later. I'll do that. Ugh, dang it. Look. All right. That's one of the Professor Cowplant clones. No, Professor Cowplant. Professor Cowplant. Oh, my gosh. Okay. In the safari net. I'm glad I caught you. Look, you're setting a bad example for the chickens. Oh, Professor Cowplant. <gasps> Okay, there we go. Jeez, I was really worried for a second there. All right, now let's go finish these trades so that we've got our mystery safari nets. And then if we have, uh, we're not going to trade all of these. I think we'll trade, we'll do nine. Nine's kind of excessive for what it is. We'll do, we'll do, um, we'll do eight since last week was kind of a bust. And at least it wasn't a ghast again. That was kind of awesome when the ghast popped out of the net that week, though. <laughs> you know, we might we might end up with unicorns. Some people have gotten mo creatures uh, mobs from these, so we'll have to see. All right, where's Iverson? Pine, you're supposed to watch Iverson. Where'd he go? Iverson. Iverson really likes to go inside a lot. We've healed so many. Junior, how you doing, son? I'll come back and oh, Iverson, there you are. Good, stay inside. Oops. I slammed the door in my face. Iverson? Oh, thank you. This look this look good. Into the corner. Now, Emerald. Safari net. Uh -huh. Come on, let's see how many he'll trade us today. We're at four, five, six, seven. Huh. Okay, so we've get Nope. We get seven today, you guys. And that's how many Iverson wants to trade today. So we've got seven of them. Thank you, Iverson. And he'll cool off and let us let us trade again in the future. But for now, Junior, my son. And it turns out this is actually a great way to get leather. Because when I come to Junior and trade him and then I uncraft these leather caps and the leather pants, it actually gives me a ton of leather. So it worked out really wonderfully. But we'll trade with Junior. Let's see how many trades we have to do to open up here. Are you gonna? Are you gonna get sparkly? It, oh, Junior's getting sparkly, you guys. He's getting sparkly. Oh, I'm gonna excitedly chew on an apple. If I can find an apple. Apples. Oh my gosh, I forgot we got that many apples out. All right, Junior, you ready? I've got more emerald coins for you. What are you spending the the coinage on anyway, son? You can always talk to me. Oh, now he wants coal, Junior. Son, that just makes you one of the most useful traders ever. Oh my gosh. Hang on, son. Let me get you a bunch of coal. Mom has so much coal for you. Oh, hey, Iverson. I'm in the middle of trading with my son. Pardon me. Oh my gosh. Coal is easy for us to get our hands on. And now he'll give us emeralds for coal. Son, I can't tell you how useful that is. I'm so proud. Can we get one more? Oh, son, that was wonderful. Are you going to get sparkly again? He is. Okay, where's JJ? All right, JJ. Oh, there you are, JJ. That wasn't hard. All right, so, oh, yeah, I forgot. JJ used to trade us coal, and now he wants to trade us for leather, leather tunics. He's working with his brother on that. All right, so now let's see. Are you going to get sparkly, JJ? Was that enough? <gasps> JJ's gotten sparkly. Junior, what do you trade now? Oh, nothing yet. Okay. Can I, can I keep unlocking it? Is it just the three? It might be just the three. Okay, JJ. 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 How do I know? It's just mother's intuition. Back off. Back off, goats. Look at the way they crowd around. It's because I'm carrying the apples. All right. JJ's gotten sparkly. Let's give him a moment. We'll give him a moment. All right, JJ. 
And it's leather caps. <laughs> oh, well, mom loves you, so I'll go ahead and trade. There we go. So we definitely have some progress with our sons. Uh, Junior and JJ, the trade for coal is actually super useful. So that makes me really happy. Did you open up another one, son? I think you can only trade like three or four, right? All right, sparklies went away. Yep, nothing yet. All right, so I think that's it. That is it, and we have gotten our seven, seven mystery safari nuts for tomorrow. I'm going to put the leather away, and then after we get a whole bunch more experience, we'll be able to uncraft them for a ton of leather. It's awesome. Very helpful. Very, very helpful. And I will swap out all the critters hiding inside of our reusable safari nuts, and then we'll be good to go, you guys. And I will see you bright and early in the morning as I collect pine. Come, little pine. And I will meet you guys back at the Meadow of Horses where we will continue spreading trees and planting fields and working on breeding some beautiful horses. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.